Today we're going to talk about Virginia. There are many lakes and rivers in the state of Virginia where to catch striped bass. Um, this art in this uh, video, we're going to delve into many places where you can find and catch stripers, uh, either personally getting away by yourself or together with friends and family. Striper fishing has taken over our nation as one of the premier sport fishing activities. So if you're in Virginia, let's take a look at some places where you can go to and catch them. First off, we have Smith Mountain. Smith Mountain Lake is a large lake with a shoreline of over 500 miles. It is southwest of Washington, D.C. in central Virginia. It's a man-made lake with around 50 foot depth. And um, all kinds of striped bass can be found there from schoolies all the way to big cows, big nice ones. Just north of Richmond, you'll find a lake called Lake Anna. And this lake is one of the largest freshwater lakes in Virginia. It um, boasts over 13,000 acres and over 251 miles of shoreline. And in this lake, you'll find many species, including largemouth bass, striped bass, uh, catfish, crappie, bluegill, perch, saw guys, and wiper which is a cross between a white bass and a striped bass. Uh, Plater Lake, Virginia is the next stop in our list and it boasts many vacation rentals and it's, in a, it's a second home destination for many. Um, cities worth visiting while you're there, Blacksburg, Fancy Gap, uh, Meadows of Dan. This, this lake, Meadows of Dan, is home to several species of fish including black bass, largemouth, smallmouth, uh, carp as well as striped bass and there are many species uh, about 20% of ang anglers are after the striped bass or hybrid striped bass found there and they use gizzard shad, alewife and, and popular baits uh, the popular baits there and Lake Gaston 20,000 20, square foot um, acre reservoir stripers can be caught here using topwater baits in the morning and crankbaits off the points in the midday because you need to get down a little bit deeper. We have Leesville Lake now. This is where you want to go if you want to uh, up your chances of breaking a state record because um, the state record for, for Virginia for striped bass uh, was set there. And you should have a good chance of catching 20 to 25 inch fish with a good chance also of catching even larger striped bass than that in this lake. Roanoke River is located in southern Virginia and it divides Virginia from North Carolina and this is also a great place to go striper fishing however you must check the regulations before you go because uh, there are limits on size and number and there are many 18 to 22 inch fish in this river occasionally they reach up to about 27 inches as well. <clears throat> Pamaki River this river is in, in Virginia is, create, is created from the confluence of the north um, and the south in a river and it is the uh, paint, excuse me, it'll give you an angling experience uh, for striped bass. There are other species found here including black bass, crappie, uh, catfish, perch, uh, hickory, shad, striped bass largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass, river herring, all kinds of stuff in here. So, and this brings the striped bass all throughout the river system and uh, it's a good place to fish as well. But again, check the regulations before you go. The Mattapani River starts out as a small stream but downstream uh, from resource state forest, it changes and becomes a tidal river and this is where you can find striped bass there and there are other, other species there as well such as crappie, bluegill, uh, chain pickerel, pumpkin seed and red breast sunfish also yellow perch, white perch, striped bass, largemouth bass, blue catfish as well. Uh, remember it's illegal to use herring in these little rivers and make sure you check the regulations there before you go there. The Chickahominy River, this is a 1,230 acre lake which was created in 1943 uh, to be used for drinking water for the local cities. It's lined by cypress, cypress trees and half of the lake has many stumps in it, but it is habitat for the feeder fish that feed our striped bass. 
and the lake also boasts uh, uh, large fish as well during uh, certain parts of the lake. Biggs Island, Big, Biggs Island Lake is 48,900 acre lake and many species are, are found there as well. Um, it's a good place to fish during the summer. You fish there at the lower end of the lake and in the winter, the upper end of the lake is a good place fall and winter. The north end of the lake is a good place to uh, fish due to the oxygenation levels in the water and the temperature. Uh, currently the limit is four striped bass per day. And one question that might come up is the fact that part of the lake is in North Carolina, but if you live in Virginia, fishing license is legal on the whole lake, both sides. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to visit my blog, which is fishandmoney.com. And um, make sure you leave your comments below. What else you want me to talk about? What other states would you like to see? Um, me do a review on the different lakes there. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.